Right now, six people are hurt after shooters rolled by a nightclub and sprayed that club with bullets. News 6's Brian Didlake is live along OBT in South Orange County at that toxic lounge, it's called, not far from the Florida Mall. And Brian, the owner, is trying to open back up tonight. Yeah, Eric, right now, happening right now, Toxic Lounge is preparing for an event. As you can see behind me, we have cars that are in front of the building. Uh, we saw some people go inside a little bit earlier, setting up for an event. Um, as you can see right now, it is boarded up. You, uh, you can't really see behind the tree and the cars, but it has been boarded up since shots were fired into the club. Uh, the owner telling me off camera that although she is shaken from this incident, it will not deter her from opening tonight. Uh, this all happened 2 a.m. Saturday here at the Avenue shop near the Florida Mall. Orange County Sheriff's Office say six people were shot after multiple suspects in a vehicle shot into the club from outside towards the street. Bullet holes seen on the building and shattered glass. It's now boarded up as the club plans to continue its operations. Again, we spoke to the owner off camera. She was still too rattled by the experience, but shares her frustrations, saying nothing like this has happened in her area and to see violence from the street pour into her place of business was disheartening. We were able to also speak with another woman who was there that night. She didn't want to be revealed, but describes what happened as shots were fired. I was just shocked. I was just thinking about the people that were there. I was thinking too about the owners, you know, that she's a person that she cares so much and she's always making sure that her clients are having so much fun, that every, she's taking care of everything, that everything is in place. So a lot of things were going through my mind and plus most of our life, you know. But thank God nothing major happened. Now, deputies say of those reported injuries, they range from minor to one victim suffering from life-threatening injuries. At this time, the Orange County Sheriff's Office have not announced any suspects, but if you have any information, you're encouraged to call deputies immediately. But for now, we are live in Orange County. Brian Bittlake, getting results, News 6.